how did it start? Like looking back now, like if you were to be reflective on it, how did that situation start and how did you end up in that situation? So I met this guy 11 years ago. I was 22 and also take note, he is twice my age. So he's like 56. And what, what kind of really struck me to him was like his charm. So he put on this really nice charm. He had recently lost his dad to cancer. And when I first saw him, I met him through my cousin Jay out in BC. And um, I, I just went over to their place one day and I was like, no, this guy's really lonely. He seems like a really nice guy. So we kind of hit it off and I, I didn't notice like at first, like he was, he was had a nice side, but he also had a real mean side. So like he didn't have the patience to put up with people who have like a slow mind, like I do. So like I have, um, I was born with FAS. So that's um, fetal alcohol syndrome when your mom drinks while she's pregnant with you. Um, I lost my twin sister at birth from it. And um, it, it, it's been a struggle, but I mean, for him trying to understand me when I was trying to explain things. So like the first time he got mad was when I told him that I accidentally forgot about a doctor's appointment I had. And he got really mad at me in the car and started yelling at me. And right there, I just felt like opening the car door and just jumping out with the vehicle moving. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, just get me out of here. And then like months and months went by, same thing. He'd get really angry at me about this and that. And I didn't really take, like, I, I was just like, I'd look at other people and I was like, well, these guys seem to have an argument. So maybe this is just normal. So I kind of went with it. And then it was like years later, he started getting physical. And it was in 2016, he actually like, I ended up like getting drunk just because I was like, I was having trouble coping and dealing with it. So I go out, get drunk, come home, but not bother him in any way. And I came face to face with him one night. And I remember he, he got really mad and I, he wouldn't let me go to the washroom just down the hall. He took my head, he slammed it into a wall and I'm, I'm five one and I'm just barely a hundred pounds. So I'm just, I'm pretty small. So he knocked me out and me banging, having my head bashed against the wall, I instantly lost consciousness, fell to the floor. And then I woke up to getting a rug burn on my shoulder because he was dragging me down the hallway. So he, I don't know what his intentions were or what he was planning, but my instincts and my, I don't know, this weird energy just came over me and I just flipped myself around and I kicked him in the balls and I ran off and then my cousin was living in the basement at the time and I, all I remember was I was going down the stairs running down to her to tell her to call 911 and I blacked out and I don't remember anything past that so I mean he's 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 five feet he's five four so I mean he's not very big but he had enough power to like do a lot of like physical damage to me. Um, I never did go to the police about it because he had this convincing story that his, his, he, everybody was his friend. So it was like, I would go and take my kids out and he would be like telling me that he was a member of the Hells Angels Club and he knew people in the area and he had people watching me. And, um, it ended up that I was like, I was, I was paranoid to even go and leave my house. Like I was looking over my shoulder all the time and it really affects you mentally. Like you get super paranoid, you flinch at everything. If somebody moves behind you, someone looks at you the wrong way, you instantly get that weird fear. And I, I lived with that for like almost my whole 11 years.